We all know the uh, local government elections have come and gone. A lot of changes as far as the ruling party is concerned, also for the official opposition. But we all made our mark next to those that we are hoping are going to make our lives better in councils and wards and municipalities. But just are they able to do it? Are municipalities equipped, really, uh, to make the changes that we voted them in uh, to do that? Well, Dani Faree from SDM Asset Management uh, and Consulting joining us this morning. Dani, good to have you with us. I uh, appreciate your time this Monday. So from what I understand, two critical factors that will make or break a municipality. May I ask you to unpack what those factors are for us? Yes, morning, uh, Gareth. Um, two main things. One is the issue that uh, new municipal administrations will have to take uh, the issue of asset management seriously and they'll have to make that a priority. Uh, that's linked to two main things. One is the, the existing infrastructure, which is a main deliverer for, for service delivery. And then most importantly, that, that's linked to that is the issue of the maintenance of, of council's current infrastructure assets, which I think is where all councils are currently shooting far short to what's the expectations and what is required from them. If councils are not going to start attending to, to the maintenance of the infrastructure assets, it could result in further service delivery issues, further protests. And it's a huge challenge for, for new councils coming in. Uh, most of them, or not all of them, would be in a situation where they are sitting with existing budgets that's, that's been approved by, by the previous councils. And they basically have six months left on those budgets, uh, to which they will probably have no, could, can make no changes to them. So for them to have an impact would most probably only be then for, for the year coming 1st first, first July 2022 uh, going forward. And I so suppose this is going to be the problem, councils. isn't it? This is the problem, though, isn't it, Donnie? For a lot of people who might not understand how, and I'm going to use the, the term asset auditing in this case, you've got new governments coming in, new leadership, but they're essentially stuck with the old budgets and the old problems of those that just got voted out. And I suppose the political problem there is going to be is we're going to start blaming the new councillors and the new mayors for not getting anything done. But that's maybe not so fair, is it? No, it isn't fair, but that's the reality. Um, you know, we, in our firm, we, we talk a lot about asset management. That's our core business. Um, and for me, if I can, and I know it's a cliche, but for me, you know, to, in order to resolve these service delivery issues and infrastructure related problems with that, uh, my view is that councils needs to go back to, to, back to basics um, and reassess all their budgets uh, you know, it's and, and it's not only councils to blame for this. Uh, national and provincial governments also had some blame in providing local councils with, with new infrastructure. But what was failing in, in those uh, programs was that uh, national and provincial governments didn't uh, provide local government with budget to, to maintain these assets. Uh, and, and that's the big, big problem that, that we've got. Uh, I mean, you can just drive around in your own area where you are uh, where they have uh, installed new paving or new roads and, and six months later it's it's clear that there's no maintenance uh, that that's happened um, so yes it's it's unfair to to councils coming in because they're going to i mean residents is going to judge them from from the first day that they're in office uh, but they're going to have inherent problems that that they stuck and that they'll have to start resolving through through proper management, proper leadership, uh, and I think that's, uh, that's what's lacking. Uh, I, in, the last minute that I, in the last minute that I have with you, you Donnie, as well, I suppose the issue is also going to be that we've heard this time and time again, but uh, the maintenance and the problems just far outweigh the budgets, the, the kind of money needed to fix all the problems is just simply not there, even if we were to go into a new financial year. There's just no money. There isn't, and that's why uh, they'll have to reprioritize uh, some of their, their budgets and they'll have to move money uh, to where it makes sense. Um, and, and that's going to be a challenge with, within the councils uh, with scarce resources. Uh, we know it's, uh, money is, is, is a problem everywhere. Um, if we look at the last audited reports from the Auditor General, there's a lot of councils that's, that's, in ca that's got cash flow problems. Um, so yeah, it's it's a real challenge for it's going to be a real challenge 
but I think that's where we good leadership and, mm -hmm. and good management um, and should play a role. And I don't think residents should expect wonders from, from day one. It's going to take time to, to resolve. Yeah, it's about all uh, managing assets, but also managing expectations, I suppose one could argue uh, as well. Donnie Faree, what a pleasure to have you with us uh, this morning here on the South African Morning SDM Asset Management uh, and Consulting. It's all about managing the assets, managing the budget, but as uh, Donnie just illustrated as well, currently the new councillors, the new mayors, whoever they might be, still going to be sitting with the old budgets until the new budgets uh, come into place next year. So when do we start judging? councillors and mayors? That, I suppose, is the question.